Hey you guys, what is up? I know it has been far, far too long since I've done any recording. I know I got a little bit sick, uh, had some tonsillitis, couldn't really talk for a while, so that's kind of the reason for the lack of uploading. But anyways, I have some live battles from cities, uh, bringing them to you guys. This is actually from the top four of Bentonville City Championships. So this is week one of cities, and on your left, you have Michael Kendall playing Rayquaza Electric, and Michael Kendall is a fairly well-known player. He uh, actually kind of coined... Uh, Gar Gengar Garchomp, which was a popular deck a little bit before my time, but I remember hearing about it. It's something I knew about, but I wasn't really a competent player at that point, so I know it used, you know, Stormfront Gengar and Garchomp C level X. But, so just a little bit of history for you. And on the right, we have my lovely testing partner, Mark Oliver, playing Blastoise Keldeo. So, a really interesting matchup. Uh, both these decks hit like trucks. They're probably the two hardest hitting and most setup intensive decks in the format so it's going to be uh, really neat to watch this going to be a good old classic kind of slower match and we see Michael Kendall winning the coin flip so let's get started here this is a little bit sped up uh, just you know for convenience and all that stuff but um, Kendall is going to drop the Sky Arrow Bridge he's got a double Tynamo lead to Mark's U2 lead which you know kind of dodges a bullet a little bit and that he gets to go first because I know Mark does run at least one DCE I don't know his exact DCE count uh, nor is that really mine to share, but, uh, you know, could have gotten a turn one knockout had it gone the other way. Uh, you know, you don't know his hand, but, you know, access to Skyline computer search, and if he wanted it, he probably had it, but we'll see what Kendall gets. He's probably going to want to set up some more Tynamos. I do see him drop another one, and a Raikou, which is nice to have, you know, just an, an EX that's not super squishy. He's going to attach a fire energy to it, and he's going to switch out, and he's going to be able to pass, so... Pretty strong turn, getting out those three Tynemos is always nice. Um, you know, you would have liked to have seen the attachment to a Rayquaza EX instead, but, you know, you can't always get what you want in this format. Mark's going to drop a Squirtle, which is really important after seeing your opponent drop all those Tynemos to at least get down a single uh, Turtle, and he's going to just attach and pass, so definitely looks like things are going a little bit more in Kendall's favor. He's going to Ultra Ball away two Lightning and I assume get out any Electric just so he can start Dynamotoring. But then again, he needs something on the bench to Dynamotor two, so a little bit complicated how that works. He can't Volt Bolt the Squirtle unless he catches it up just because that's how Squirtle works. He doesn't take bench damage. It's one of the things that makes Blastoise, you know, just that little bit better. You don't have to worry about those Dark Rice Snipes or anything like that. He's actually going to grab out his uh, Secret Rare Rayquaza, which surprises me a little bit. Um, it is a really good card. It does a lot of work for 120 HP. is not really easy to take out in one shot in this format. Uh, Keldeo needs four energy on it. It also goes through Eviolite, so it pretty much two shots anything in this format, uh, except for uh, Tornadus, CX, and other normal type EXs like that when Aspersia City Gym is in play. But... Um, we're going to see Kendall hits some Ultra Balls. I see he got an Electric. He also has an Energy Switch. So what he could do is, um, I think he might be one Energy short, or if he gets out an Electric, a second one, he could Dynamotor 2, and then actually get off the um, the Shred this turn. He has the Energy Switch, so he could move the uh, Fire Energy. It's an interesting and risky play, but it looks like he's just going to go for that uh, simple Shred, or uh, that simple Dragon Burst, rather. The, uh, the attack that does 40, I'm trying to remember what exactly it's called now, and I'm having a little bit of trouble. But anyways, he's going to put 40 on his opponent's Mewtwo, and the rough part of this is that he does have to discard a Skyla and a Juniper, so definitely had some good top decks he was going to come into, but, you know, those are some risks you got to take sometimes. Mark is going to drop the Lapras, put an energy on it, so he's going to be able to call for family, you know, get more set up. Uh, he doesn't worry too much about the 40 on his Mewtwo, the other beneficial part of this is that he knows the Dragon Burst probably isn't coming. Uh, you need um, quite a bit uh, to get that going off. You need a Fire Energy, you need a Switch, because you need one more energy to attach to your um, your Secret Rare Rayquaza. There's just a lot that he would need. Um, so Mark's going to Ultra Ball out two water for a Blast Toys, which makes me think that he has the candy, and he does. So there we see the Blastoise is already out. Um, this is probably the matchup in which Blastoise is the least safe just because Dragon Bursting actually isn't all that much. And then Mark's going to retreat, and he's going to decide to call for family. And he's stuck between grabbing uh, two Keldeos and a Keldeo and a Squirtle. 
He opts to go for the two Keldeos, which is probably the more immediate need. You'd like to see another Squirtle hit the bench just in case the Blastoise does get taken out. Um, but, you know, that's really just kind of a, a later thought that I think you need. I think you need to set up at this point. Your opponent really is threatening with a pretty big board right now, uh, especially if he just really starts getting those electrics in play. Uh, you see that Kendall does have two Ultra Balls, I think maybe even three. He's sitting on a Juniper. He's got what looks like two Energy Switch in his hand, too, so kind of nifty that he has room to run those. Uh, maybe it's just one, but, you know, he's really definitely got uh, the turn advantage on Mark, and that's really a clear example of just how important it is to go first in this game. I mean, both players are having pretty good setups um, in terms of getting things out. The energy on the board maybe isn't the best, but... You know, that's just kind of a secondary thought. And it looks like Kendall is going... Oh, he had a, a Skyla in there. Okay, so he Ultra Balls away an Ultra Ball and a Skyla. And I'm expecting it's either Rayquaza EX or uh, Tynemo. Or not Tynemo, Electric. And those are pretty much the only things. I think Keldeo is maybe the only other Pokemon he runs in his deck that's not already out. Uh, he's going to grab out the Rayquaza, which I like. Um... You know, you probably have level balls and other means of getting out your um, electrics. It doesn't seem like he's too worried about getting them out. Um, normally, I think that I'd probably be a little bit more concerned than he would. Um, he is one card short, unfortunately, of getting another Ultra Ball off with his Juniper. That's always a really kind of unfortunate thing. So he's just going to play the Energy Switch, um, and he's going to uh, Juniper away. So just gets rid of the Ultra Ball. Not too bad of a discard, and he does... Um, hit a couple lightning here. The problem is that he's gone through so many Ultra Balls that he really doesn't have much in the way of getting rid of uh, lightning very quickly at this point. I mean, he does have Juniper still, but right now his hand is so full that Junipering would probably hurt more than help. And we're going to see a Dynamotor to Raikou. So, kind of an interesting play. And he's got an attachment. He's got the lightning. And it looks like he's just going to pulse again. It's Dragon Pulse is the name of the attack. And again, he discards two supporters, so Kendall might be pretty vulnerable to ends, especially if he can't get up many uh, electrics. This could really be something that hurts him in the late game of this, but, you know, still got a lot of time to see what's going to go down. Um, we see that Mark is going to be able to Silen, which is a really good one of supporter in this deck. I really like it. And he's going to be able to get out three water which is kind of an unfortunate number if he doesn't have a fourth one in his hand, simply because um, Rayquaza has 120 HP, and Keldy only swings for 110, you know, only, uh, but only 110 damage when he um, has three energy on him. So we'll see what Mark's got in his hand aside from the three energy from Silen. He's going to attach all those, use Keldeo's fantastic ability, rush in, basically lets you just switch. And unfortunately, he's going to be 10 shy of the KO here. But Mark definitely put himself back in this game. Uh, things were looking a little bad for him, but uh, definitely looks a little stronger now. And it looks like uh, Kendall is just kind of sitting, waiting for this Rayquaza to kind of bite the dust in a lot of senses. Um, he does have the level ball, which he should play immediately. There's no reason not to. Uh, get out that second electric. You're going to be able to Dynamo her more. I believe he does still have at least one lightning in the discard. Maybe not, though. Um, so there's the level ball. You just want to have your uh, electrics out. There's you know no reason not to play them. They'll thin your deck. Um, you're going to need them anyways. You might as well play those search cards while you have them. There's no harm in having the electrics out, really, once you have one out. Um, so there's a second eel on the field. And... Uh, Kendall's gone through a lot of his deck already, but that seems to just be a general trend that I've noticed, is that Rayquaza Electric just seems to be this deck that just kind of eats through itself so quickly. Uh, definitely a uh, plus and a minus side of that. You know, obviously it's good for getting set up, but, you know, you have to be careful in the late game, conserving resources and all that stuff. Uh, we have seen Kendall burn through some cards, you know. We saw him kind of waste the catcher, um, bringing up a Blastoise when Keldeo was on the field. I guess that prevented... Mark from going to Mewtwo or Lapras again, but so we're gonna see Kendall Skyla now, and not really sure what you grab out in this situation. Um, depends a lot on what your hand is. He's gonna grab out the Switch though, which I think I actually like quite a bit. Um, you know, you know that Rayquaza 
uh, isn't really going to be useful. He's actually going to... Oh, I see. He's going to attach to it. Ooh, I like this, except... I might have personally gone out to the... Um... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess he wanted to get off that uh, Volt Bolt. I'm not sure what you Volt Bolt in this situation. Oh, oh, he's going to go for the Blastoise. Very nice. I actually... uh thought the Blastoise only has a um, has 150, but it has 140, so that was a really nice play by Kendall, putting that 40 on the Blastoise then. I guess I didn't realize it at the time, but that's that's scary. So now Mark is without Blastoise. Um, shows that he probably should have grabbed the second Squirtle. Um, and now Mark's in a scary position. You know, you do have a threatening Kelbio, but next turn, that looks like it's going to be gone. So... Whew. Kendall really turned that one around with that Volt Bolt. I think that caught Mark off guard just about as much as it did me. Um, he can drop down another Squirtle and you know it won't get Volt Bolted. Uh, I just can't unless he brings it active, but he needs Catcher for that. And so now Mark's just kind of kind of have to look, see if Kendall's discarded enough resources for him to really come back in this. The problem is that he doesn't really have the option to end right now uh, and really have it be that effective. It looks like Kendall has a pretty skinny hand and bringing him up to five probably would help more than hurt. So I think what Mark needs to do here is ideally would be to knock out some eels. Um, he's going to computer search, get rid of a um, tool scrapper and I can't tell what that second card is. I definitely like getting rid of the tool scrapper. Rayquaza Electric decks just don't run tools. It's just not something they have room for. And I mean, when you can knock out anything in the format, really, do you really need tools? Uh, I mean, I guess they'd be nice, but the idea is the deck is just so strong, it doesn't really rely on things like that. So, ooh, those were Mark's last two cards. I'm not sure what he's going to go for. Okay, so he does go for the catcher. So he goes, uh, goes for broke on this. And uh, he's going to take out the eel. It's the good play because you know that it'll be a lot harder for your opponent to knock out a um, an elect or a uh, your Keldeo. But if Kendall has a hand attachment, that could actually be a lot easier. Just needs the one Dynamoter. He also does have the uh, Tynamo. I don't like that he promoted it though. Uh, I would have promoted the Raiko just in case you top deck the Electric. That way you could have had two Dynamoters this turn. But he does have the hand attachment, so that's going to be pretty brutal. Uh, I guess he knew he already had that. So he's going to Dragon Burst. Uh, there's two more prizes. So Mark really kind of behind the eight ball here. Uh, he needs a way to get Blastoise onto the field. Uh, he doesn't really look like he has access to his beach. Uh, I know Mark plays one. It's a really important card in this deck, and that's why it's so important to get beach out early in these matchups. You know, this is a situation especially because it takes away Sky Arrow and really makes things harder for your opponent. But this is a situation where you really need it. Mark is in straight top deck mode, using a deck that you know doesn't do all that well against the top deck. Uh, and Kendall's just going to be able to attach from hand again. And get ready for a Dragon Burst. He's also Dynamotoring, getting ready for a Volt Bolt the next turn. So the Dragon Burst for 60 will bring him to two prizes. And now all he needs to do is just take out an EX, and, you know, he's pretty much got his pick of the litter. Uh, we'll see what Mark's top deck is. Mark's actually just going to scoop, so we'll be moving on to game two. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Kind of a quick one. But uh, make sure you rate, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will catch you guys later.